everyone welcome welcome to your tutorial for this thursday february the 11th 2021 and i'm really glad that uh, you made some time to connect with us and listen and discuss with us i was thinking about doing a tutorial but with all the events happening in the world right now and for the news that i got since yesterday I'm so excited, excited because there are a lot of things, a lot of things happening. And I believe this is the right time for you, for myself, for anyone with an idea, with a business, with any uh, le opinion leader, anyone who has an idea, who has something to say, this is the time to be vocal about it. This is the time to be present, to be visible and to talk about what you have in your heart what you have in your mind and hello mountain of inspiration and i wish that uh, and and i wish that you can grasp you can understand the time we're living in and i hope that at the by the end of this video you'll be able to have a firm uh foundation but also have a a, a, a strong desire, a strong commitment. Put, commit yourself to do something different. I don't know where you're joining me from. Uh, for those of you watching from my personal Facebook page, I may not see your comments. And for those of you watching from the Amen Productions Facebook page, you can drop me a comment. I'll be able to see uh, your comment, read them through and share them with the whole world. By the way, I have tried something tonight. I'm playing music. I would like to, I would like you to tell me if you can hear the music. I see that discussion, conversation are going around here in the chat. Good, excellent. Yes. Mountain of Inspiration is, is one of our partner uh, they are one of your partner for this uh, YouTube channel, this uh, live um, that we're doing for this month of February. As you see, we have a list of all the partners that we're working with. They're supporting us one way or the other to help you bring this live to YouTube, to Facebook. And if you see them around or if you know them, don't hesitate to reach out to them and check their services, check the product they sell it. And I believe you'll be amazed uh, on what they're doing, about what they're doing. So, oh, thank you for letting me know that you can hear the music. Oh, good, good, okay. It's actually from the YouTube library. I just created a playlist on my YouTube library and I just play it. And I find a way to play it, it comes through the live streaming. And because, as you know, for those of you who don't, I'm also able to produce your live streaming. So the way I can do it, I can be here in Niagara Falls, Ontario, and you can be anywhere in the world. As long as you have a good internet connection, I can produce your, TV, your live streaming. And we can produce it going to YouTube, uh, going to Facebook, going to Twitter if that's what you wish. And for that, do not hesitate to contact us and we can make it happen for you. Like we like to say, your ideas is, it may be just a dream, but we can help you make it happen, make it come true. So as the title mentioned tonight, I'm saying, are you ready for the digital world? This world is coming to so fast. It's already here. And I can't believe that back in 2018, I was in Mississauga and I was, the idea came to my mind. And, be, and one of the reasons is because back then the, I was attending a church and we were trying to help build uh, church attendance on our live services. And I understood that one of the challenge and one of the reason people were not really connecting is because they were digital, digitally illiterate, if I may say it. 
People did not know how to use the means that they had in their hands. People did not know how to connect for live service and these kind of things. And the idea came to me to start providing training for the church members, of course, in the beginning, and extend it to the whole community where people can understand and be more ready so they can participate in the digital life. Back then, I did not know that 2020 will be this, this place where everything will be done, it'll be done remotely. As you know now, as you probably have observed it, most of the meetings are taking place remotely. Churches, um, organizations, governments, most of them are connecting, but remotely. Of course, you still have some exceptions, some places in the world where people are connecting physically. But for most of the people in the Western world, like yourself probably and myself, like where we're living now, the only way that we have to connect even to work is to do it remotely. And with this, there's a challenge. In the beginning of the pandemic, I was talking to some of my co-workers and I was, you know, I was thinking, I was wish, uh, you know, wishing that the, the confinement would not last that long. And I had an idea and I, and I was saying, maybe it's because people, I mean, businesses and the government, they understand that if they have to keep people confined for a long time, who is going to pay for the rent on those office buildings that we have? All these office spaces that we have. Is the government going to supply or provide subsidy to complete the rent? I don't think so. And back then I was saying, last year I was telling them, guys, don't worry, things will go back to normal quickly. Little that I know, things are not moving. A lot of people made plans last year to travel. It did not happen. Everything got canceled. Everything got um, delayed. And only the, the bold one were able to travel despite uh, some of the ban, despite some of the things. But it was not easy. And here, here we are. 2021, things looks like 2020, okay? Hello, legacy, legacy moment. I'm glad to see you here. And for those of you who like to join me live, you can click in the, in the link and you'll be connected live here. So what I was saying the world has changed so much that and we don't know how long it will take and for all of the people that i see now and those who are still strong enough as you know some people um they're having mental challenges and they, they they've been challenged emotionally and that draining their strength, that draining them. Some are already losing hope. And this is where I kind of come in as a digital coach, digital life coach. And I think it is time to, to kind of help boost and encourage someone. Wherever you are today in this world that we're living, a world that going so fast and then going in a direction that nobody can control. Nobody can predict what will tomorrow will be like. People have planned, but nobody can predict for sure that tomorrow this is what I'll do and it will happen. I mean, in the physical realm. And that's why I'm saying, I'm asking you, are you ready for the digital world? What if 
this confinement? What if all of this, you know, restrict all these restrictions will be there for another for another year? What if? What will you do? And while I was thinking about it, and I'm glad, you know, sometimes I take time to check what's uh, going on in the world. And I found, for example, some platforms like Amazon, they're offering to pay people they consider Amazon influencer to pay them a commission on any sales they be doing for the during the lives live streaming on Amazon platform. Excuse me, I'm having a guest here. Hello, Dimitri. Right. Hello, hello, sir. How are you? Good, good, good. Mm -hmm. Good to see you. So, you. like what I was saying, mm -hmm. we, let me remove these comments. Sorry about that. I'm hiding that. Are you ready? Because like it or not, ready or not, the world is shifting. Absolutely. The world is going in a direction that we did not see it coming, except for some people. No, nobody did. <laughs> But most of us did not see it coming. Mm -hmm. And we don't know what will come. Mm -hmm. And again, let me say it, I'm here to encourage you. And here I'm talking to you as a content creator. I'm talking to you as a coach. I'm talking to you as um, as someone who can help, somebody who has the passion, the desire to help other people. This is a time for you to rise up. <laughs> to rise up and start being more visible, more present. You know, we, we, we can spend a lot of time, you know, talking about... Um, politics talking about you know looking at the empty half empty glass while some people will be talking a half full glass yes. we can do that but change is there mm -hmm. there mm -hmm. is a change that is there we change the way we used to connect mm -hmm. we change the way we used to interact with people mm -hmm. we change the way we we celebrate our birthdays Yes. <laughs> so <laughs> we also changing the way we consume things. Mm -hmm. And in that game, it's only those ones who are kind of ready, who are mentally prepared for the next. Mm -hmm. And as a digital coach, the only thing I can really say tonight is really encouraging all of us, you who are watching. And you as uh, my guest mm -hmm. is really think about your digital presence. Yes. Not just because you need to be present, but because somebody has, has a need. Somebody needs to hear the voice that you have. Yes, 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 yes. Somebody Absolutely. is somewhere in one country, and like I always said, that you will never go mm. not because you can just because it's you may never have the time to reach there mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but through media through uh the youtube through the facebook through all this meaning you can reach those people yes and you know yesterday it was the i found out about amazon amazon live mm -hmm. Mm -hmm where content creators, they can go there and not just talk about a product. They can talk about anything they want. Mm. They can have a like a mini shop on a carousel mm. where they playing things. And every time people watching and click on that carousel to purchase either one of those products that they have on display or anything else, that content creator would be would be paid it blew my mind i'm like 
What <laughs> is <laughs> You know, and l l like, like I was so, saying, so I, I guess people are now going to start leaving YouTube. Uh, yes, it mm. because like it or not, the world is there, and those people at Amazon they probably understood it. They got it. They say they probably realize that people are more sitting in front of their computer screens, in front of their TV, and consuming content. Absolutely. And as a matter of fact, which is which is funny, right? Mm -hmm. uh, even for the kids who are actually studying from home. Uh, mm -hmm. who actually staying home to actually do class online. Mm -hmm. During the break, they spend more time with their faces on the screen than before because they are at home. So they can actually go from class to actually just start searching, uh, surfing the web and going to different places. So there's there are more opportunities now for them to be exposed to all kinds of different uh, business ideas than before. Absolutely. This is so true. Yeah. And the same thing I'll say for any content creator, any mm. even entrepreneurs, business people. Mm. Mm. This is a time. And let, let me also put it here. And, and this is a message for all the business people and especially entrepreneurs who are still on the verge. They, they, you know, they hesitating about joining YouTube and having a YouTube channel. Mm. I'm, I'm sorry to tell you, but if you're not visible, You'll be only known to the small community that you belong to. Absolutely. And the question I always ask, why do you think those big names, big brand, they have a YouTube channel? Do you think it's just for fun or because they have nothing to do? I don't think so. Mm -hmm. It's a way for them to be visible. Mm -hmm. A way for them to inspire. It's a way for them to be in the mind of the consumers. So, mm -hmm. hey, listen, Mr. Mrs. Miss, we sell here. Mm -hmm. And those are the things that we are doing. Those are the mm -hmm. products that we're releasing. Those are the services that we're offering. Mm -hmm. And if you decide that you still want to remain in your small thing and for whatever reason that you have in your mind, mm -hmm. I mean, it's fine. But understand that the world that we used to we used to know two years ago, <laughs> I don't know if it'll, it will come back. I don't know. Because last Saturday, as a matter of fact, I was producing a show. They were based in Belgium and, mm. and in Canada. Oh, producing, in Belgium? Yes. I did produce wow. a show on Saturday, last Saturday. Mm -hmm. And it was an interesting discussion. Mm. This lady, this community leader, invited students. And all of them, they were like, oh yeah, we cannot wait for the everything to reopen. We cannot wait. And then she asked them, do you think that you'll be able to hug your friends like you used to right away? Mm. And what was the answer? Most of them were, uh, they were not sure. They were not sure if they'll do it. And that's a reality. Mm -hmm. That's a truth. It will take some time for people who, who have been living, you know, in kind of confinement or self-confinement or whatever. Mm -hmm. They've mm -hmm. been living uh, um far from other people mm -hmm. to go back and have life like it used to be mm -hmm. it will take some time no i don't i, I don't i don't even think that we're going to get back to a place where things will get back to normal i mean to get back to the way it was before march 2020. Mm -hmm. uh it, personally i believe it will be the same as uh, what happened after september 11 uh, mm -hmm. 2001. Uh, after that, and after the people tried to get on the, on a plane again with uh, the shoe bomb from uh, from Europe, they decided that uh, any any plane going in or out of America, they had a protocol that everyone had, had to adhere to. Whether you like it or not, you have to take off your shoes and do different things. I laugh. I laugh because about two years ago, I went to Cuba, and we got to the airport. Where I was trying to take off my shoes. And the guy, the guy said, no, 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 this is not America. In Cuba, we don't take off the shoes. 
But the funny thing is, back then it makes sense. Oh yeah, because Cuba was different. Cuba had never actually been the target of, of uh, this kind of uh, uh, situation. But with the COVID-19, I don't believe there's one country in the world that's going to say that we are not going to be doing any uh, tests. We are not going to be actually doing any. Everyone has now changed the way they do business, the way they, the, the way they, they live around the world. So this is, this is a, created some tremendous changes that I hate to stay for quite a long time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, that, that's true. And then, and that's why I'm saying today, I, I really want to call and encourage people yes. to jump into the digital trend, mm -hmm. digital education, digital yes. knowledge, acquiring yes. the knowledge. Mm -hmm. Because if you don't, I cannot predict. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. You know, it's it amazes me to see that in 2021, in some part, some part of the world, people mm -hmm. still cannot identify cer certain threats mm -hmm. on the internet. They don't identify. They cannot. Mm -hmm. Yes, you you probably say, oh, you are used to it. You are into technologies. I had the I was not born like this. Mm -hmm. I had to learn. I had to learn to educate myself, understanding the world, the technical, the deep technologies that surrounding me. I had to learn. Mm -hmm. I wasn't born like this. Mm -hmm. You know, as a matter of fact, I still remember that I really started learning typing on a keyboard in 1997. I was over 20 years old. It was my, like, learning, basically learning how to type. I was typing probably one word at a minute. You, you see? But back then, because some of the people that I met when I... I got here in, in, in Canada, they encouraged me and say, don't go for money yet. First, get yourself ready. Yes. Get yourself ready. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Get a good English. Learn English. Mm. Learn how to use a computer. Mm. Those were the advice. They say, mm -hmm. don't rush and go find any kind of job. Learn mm -hmm. first to, how to use a computer. Yes, 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 yes. Become familiar with a computer. Mm -hmm. Learn English so mm -hmm. that you can communicate with the people. Mm -hmm. And I really bless that couple that gave me those, uh, those advice. Mm -hmm. Because he did really help me. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. You see? So today, again, we are getting in a new dimension. You'll say, you know, what about, you know, technology? Yes because technology is evolving so fast. Mm -hmm. So if we don't catch up, if we don't understand it, the next trend will miss it. And if we miss it, then what's the value we bring to the people? Yeah. You see, I was talking to another a friend mm. and he sent me a, a message showing me a video about how young men are coding can help the black young men now that we're in a black month history. Mm -hmm. He's saying our coding can really help. Mm -hmm. And I hope to have him uh, next time on our show here mm -hmm. to talk about it. I, I say, please come and share, talk with us. And, mm -hmm. you Maybe know, that. let's have a discussion because, yes, we hear about it. Mm -hmm. You know, on top of everything else that we we going through the confinement and all this and all these changes it may just go overboard and we may mm -hmm. not get it fully so we need people like i told him like you to come and tell us explain to us how we can get our children engaged how we can get them interested in those yeah. in, mm -hmm. in those new things mm -hmm. yes and, and, and I believe right now, it's not even just a matter of children, uh, even adults. Uh, today, in Canada, Bombardier mm -hmm. in Montreal is actually laid off close to uh, 1,600 people. 
700 out of Quebec alone. Quebec, which is where they, they are, they have their headquarters. 700. So this is just the beginning of a trend. These people yeah. have been working for Bombardier for quite a, a long time, and if they can be let go, that means that uh, this is a shift in the economy, and everyone needs to find a way just to reinvent themselves. Yeah. So the digital world that we're getting, we are into, so requires the new skills. Yes. It requires new skills. Yes. It requires a new mindset, different mindset. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I can tell you, I've been beyond cameras for 20, 18 years now. I've always been behind, beyond cameras, behind a soundboard, things like that. But it's, it's only in 2020. Uh, over 30 years, I must correct you. Over 30 years, over 30 years. Yeah. So Since, since, since Badolite. Yeah. So it's only 2020, in the midst of all this confinement, in the midst of all these changes that I'm like, I was like, what can I do? Mm. What else can I do to keep myself sane? Because yes, working from home, you know, it's like you're not doing anything else. It's like you are oh, okay. stuck, Always confined. Working. Yes. And then talking to people, all of this, all my lives, all this channel really started just helping others. <laughs> I, I I used to go, I'll just launch my YouTube, check what people are doing, and especially in the community, among the Congolese, and I reach out to whoever is here to listen and talk to them and say, you know what, you can do this better. Mm -hmm. You can, you're doing good job, you, are, mm -hmm. you have talent, but you can improve here, you can improve mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. And by doing that, one of them told me, you know what, why don't you come on my live and talk about it? And that's how I started. I started talking mm -hmm. to, his, to his connections, and then he said, why don't you give a, a training? Because that's what you were trying to do in 2018. I said, yes. He said, okay, I'll bring the people and you train them. Oh, just like that? Yes. Excellent. Excellent. And with that, talking mm. with other people, here I am. Mm. You know, doing this live. Yes, I was, today I was like, okay, I'm tired and and then someone called me and say, what are you doing? Can we can we talk about it? And I say, yes, okay. As a matter of fact, this has been in my mind for since yesterday. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, how the economy mm -hmm. is changing, how things are, cha are, are moving and are going so fast that we need to adapt. Yes. And today I learned about another app, Clubhouse. Oh, Clubhouse. Yes. Oh, well, but this is funny because <laughs> it, it's it's the talk of it's the talk of the day today. Everybody is talking about Clubhouse. So please tell us what is Clubhouse? What's happening with Clubhouse? Clubhouse. It, it, every, everyone called us and said Clubhouse. Club. So what is Clubhouse? Even my daughter is asking Clubhouse. So what is Clubhouse? For the people in the in watching, I see some people watching. Do you have any idea what is Clubhouse? I don't. I don't. <laughs> so Clubhouse is an, a platform where you can get in only by invitation. Oh, so it's like the Chinese uh, application. Okay, so it's like the Chinese. <laughs> that is the first thing. You can okay. only get in by invitation. By invitation. Okay. And you then get the ability to listen to people's conversation. So, for example, I'll let you know that I'm talking with you on 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 the clubhouse, yes. and I would like to have my friend uh, who's that's in Belgium just to drop in and listen, and if they want to join the conversation, they can join. There is no video; it's only vo voice. Yes, that's a so quite far, an interesting concept. It's only voice, but it allows. It, it what it does then it becomes like you have your own podcast but not a podcast recorded where people will listen at it later on but it's a podcast that you can be live 
and people can answer or reply, interact with you live. But oh. only the people that you choose to allow to listen. It's like a Twitter, but a Twitter on a closed circuit. Not open to everybody. Because to get there, you need to know somebody who's in, who can invite you in. Okay, so uh, how, how do we get an invitation to Clubhouse? Uh, if you know somebody who's already in, mm -hmm. and if they think that you can bring some value in their discussion, they'll probably invite you. Which brings me again to the visibility that you need to have today. Because like all the data are telling us there are 4,000 hours of videos uploaded every to YouTube every hour, if not every minute. So how do you stay relevant? How, how, how do you make yourself known? <laughs> if you're going to think twice, uh, if you're going to, to be hesitating on being visible, going live, going public, go, making content like you do, creating those contents, are you going to stay relevant? You know, it comes to a point where I, I look at like one of my, my friend, Bodhisattva, who has like five nights a week where he has different shows, different topics, talking of when he plays music, when he has just quality discussion and other things because people want to know, they want to hear, they want to, they want to learn, they want to hear from you. And like I always say, mm. when people come to YouTube, mm. they're not coming to get, um, what they can find themselves by themselves going on Google. Mm -hmm. They're coming to get a, a perspective, a point of view. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What is your perspective on this? Mm -hmm. To me, like mm -hmm. Clubhouse, mm -hmm. I'll say it is good mm -hmm. because then you, you can basically, yeah, people can listen if you allow them. And from that, you can also go live. As I saw this, uh, this, this afternoon, some people were going live and bringing that live on YouTube. Oh, oh yes, just imagine. So, you know, if I may drop something, it's like this, this debate that people had at the beginning of the year, you know, in January. Yes, Facebook is going to use my data, my information. Instagram, all of that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, If you only open your eyes now to realize that your information was being used by those big corporations, you just realize it January 2021. I'm sorry for you, but wake up, you know, I'll say good morning. Mm -hmm. Good morning, because you were you've been asleep for a long, long time. <laughs> yes, I say, oh, you finally woke up, you finally mm. here with us. Mm. Because this has been going on for a long, long, long time. Mm. Mm. Too bad that you only realize it now, but those are the things that have been around for a while. And like I tell people mm. not to, to, to promote any brand, when we go on Google, we, we let Google know about us. Absolutely. A piece of you is definitely there. It's Your there. footprint. The footprint is there. So mm -hmm. how many people really know how to stop some of these uh, cookies? How many people, you know, and then again, thanks to the European Union, that kind of make, made it mandatory for all the website now to display that message and say, oh, we use cookies in our website by you navigating this website, you agree for those cookies to be... <laughs> Although, so there is an option you can click. I want to learn more where you can select and choose which cookies you allow. But how many people do it? So you don't choose the cookies that are set on certain websites that you visit. 
Mm -hmm. And yet you complain about Facebook who's the owner of WhatsApp and Instagram sharing your information. But what about those websites? You see, <laughs> and that's where I say people need to get digitally educated. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. People need to get knowledge about the digital world we're living in. Mm -hmm. Because ready or not, mm -hmm. it's there. Yes, go ahead. But I think it's just kind of scary for people, right? For most people to actually uh, find themselves in a place where they have to put a camera in front of them and uh, start talking. So uh, that, I believe, is the biggest thing that people have to find a way to overcome when it comes to becoming visible online, on YouTube, or eventually on places like Clubhouse. So one tip that I can share, and then mm -hmm. I really thank you. That's a good question. Mm -hmm. If you've never done it, don't try to do it yourself. It will be too hard. Try first joining other people's life, like what we're doing now. Mm -hmm. The link is there. If you're watching us and you you were so scared to go online, join this kind of conversation. Join mm -hmm. it. Even just mm -hmm. to watch, just to, to feel mm -hmm. how it, it is to be online, to be mm -hmm. seen on on, on your big screen, mm -hmm. because for some people it's, it's the first time. So I'll say, join this kind of live, mm -hmm. sit and chat, interact with people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do it, mm -hmm. let's say probably three or four times. Mm -hmm. And I tell you, because you have something, it will start coming. It will start coming out. It will start coming. And then you'll feel confident. You'll feel comfortable standing in front of a camera and starting like I started earlier today just by myself. Mm -hmm. Yes. It takes practice. Yes. But it helps. <laughs> and not only that, mm -hmm. by me doing this kind of thing, this kind of mm -hmm. video, this kind of tutorial, mm -hmm. it also helps me develop the public speaking skills. Mm -hmm. because I can then use that skill and apply it anywhere else. Just remember. And, and the funny thing is nowadays, even when people invite you to speak, they don't invite you to come in person. They invite you to come speak uh, through Zoom or basically in front of a camera and speaking to people. Yeah, exactly. So it's really about jumping because if you don't jump, mm. The, the, the water may be crowded and you will not be able to jump. <laughs> mm. yeah. And that's why when I saw that Amazon thing, I'm like, okay, I need to investigate it quickly. Mm -hmm. And I'm still researching. I'm still researching. And maybe one of these days, you'll see me on Amazon Live. Okay. If it's open for the Canadian, I'm telling you. I'll be going there. So is it open to Canada uh, for, for, for the time being or no? It looks like it is, but I haven't tried it yet. So that's okay. why I say I'm still researching on it. And okay. if it, it is, I'll jump in. And as soon as I'm in, I'll let you know. Mm -hmm. I'll let you, my, pub, my, my, my people know uh, how it is. That's so to, to recap, and it, like mm -hmm. I said, we are living in a different world. And if you don't jump right now in the water, you may see the water too crowded for you to jump, no space for you to jump. And mm -hmm. when the water is crowded, all you have mm -hmm. to do is get in, but slowly, because you cannot jump. When it's empty, you can jump, and, you know, nobody will be hurt. But mm -hmm. when it gets crowded, I remember YouTube back in 2006, 2000, we joined 2000, what, 12, 13 years ago, mm -hmm. 2009. They were basically paying everybody mm -hmm. to produce content. And when they got the number that they needed, they made, you know, um, criteria for you to be able to be paid, to become a, a YouTube partner. Mm -hmm. So why? We need to watch for trends and see how we can use those trends. See how we can use anything happening in the world 
to position ourselves mm -hmm. for the next. Mm -hmm. That's all you can do with the digital world. Use whatever's coming to position yourself for the next move. Mm -hmm. And the funny thing is, what, what you're saying is so true. And the funny thing is, uh, even right now, the transition from YouTube that we're seeing and slowly but surely we're seeing Amazon Live encroaching mm -hmm. on the territory, which means that the sooner you actually learn to actually overcome this fear of being in front of your camera, the better it's going to be for you because if you can go and start make, make, making more money right away with Amazon uh, Live, yeah, mm -hmm. the best time to actually start is right now. And even talking about the um, going up, uh, in front of the camera. Mm -hmm. I found another application. It's online application. Mm -hmm. It's mostly for salespeople. Mm. What do um, you do? So you put your camera on, you can record yourself and you can share the screen and it puts yourself in a small window on one corner and you have the whole screen doing the presentation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It can be a call to action for your customers. It, call, mm -hmm. it can be a call to action for prospect that you're going after. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So all of that me requires a skill, a skill to be, to no longer be a shy, shy in front of a camera. So you mm -hmm. need to be ready mm -hmm. anytime to, to jump in a camera. Mm -hmm. You know, as a matter of fact, um, to, we're going to wrap quickly. Working from home, you know, it used to be casual, even for me, until this January when I realized, like, I don't know what can happen. I don't know who's going to watch me. So I need to be ready. <laughs> I need to be ready. You know, I need to be ready. So from eight o'clock in the morning, I make sure that I'm ready mm. because I may get a call, Absolutely. a call to, to to explain something. I may get a call to to train somebody. Mm -hmm. And if mm -hmm. I'm not ready, I mean, physically ready, mm -hmm. then I may miss that opportunity. I may not come back because guess what? There are many coaches, there are many trainers, mm -hmm. there are many mm -hmm. motivators. Mm. There are many preachers, mm -hmm. there are many businesses mm -hmm. that are doing it probably the same thing that you're doing. Mm. But what will set you apart is how ready you are. Excellent. You see? Excellent. And I decided, you know, I'll, uh, I'll, uh, I'll shower, I'll get ready, I'll dress up. And the first week, my manager was like, uh, are you going <laughs> I said, no. It's just uh, a mindset. Yes, yes, yes. Just yes, a mindset. Yes. And yes. I can tell you, since I've been doing that, I've been even more focused on my work. I no longer take my space like just another room in my house. It becomes like an office. Absolutely, yes. Because I set my mind to a different thing. Mm -hmm. And the same way, knowing that it can be on a camera anytime, Regardless of the hour, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'll say, ladies, please, if you have to, keep your makeup and maybe until 8 p.m. <laughs> or 9 p.m. I'm, yes. no, I'm telling you, if you if you can, as soon as you wake up, make sure that you are camera ready, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. because your opportunity may be then tomorrow. Mm -hmm. It may be that eight o'clock call. So some people would not be able like to say to wait for you to go and change or put a makeup. I say just be ready. Mm. Be ready like yourself. You ready? I say stay like this until maybe 9 p.m. You know for sure. You know chances are that nobody will call you after that time. Yes, yes. but until then, just be ready. Yeah. Be ready because the digital world. There's no time right now. We. It's what 7 56 p.m. In Toronto, here, yes. it's already like um 3 a.m. I mean 11 a.m. somewhere, mm -hmm. and it probably it's already 6 a.m. somewhere else. Mm -hmm. And somebody may just see these videos in a country where it's 7 a.m. Mm -hmm. and inspired, they decide to call me. 
Will I just go and say, oh, wait until I put up my ascot? No. No. Mm. I need to be ready. Yeah, absolutely. I need to be ready. Absolutely. And ready mean also means that getting the equipment to be to to to, to deliver a good quality, mm -hmm. audio quality. Mm -hmm. You have a good mic, you have a headphone so they can hear what people are saying. You put yourself in an environment where it's too no it's not too noisy and mm -hmm. you know it feel that you can talk. Mm -hmm. And people feel okay because they mm -hmm. they're not distracted by the noise around you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So let's just be ready. Mm -hmm. And if you're not ready, change is coming, and it's already here, and you'll be swept <laughs> by it. Yeah, I mean, this is this this is amazing. This is tremendous what you just shared tonight. Because as a matter of fact, it is true. Uh, things are changing at a very very quick uh, pace. And uh, yes, from time to time, you 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 get a call in the middle of nowhere. Say, yeah, we need to actually talk to you, and you're gonna be Zoom. And if mm -hmm. you're not ready, if you don't have a space, if you don't even have a space, and where you can just go turn on the light and go jump in front of the camera, yeah, you're gonna be in trouble because you're gonna try to actually go turn on the light, go in the washroom. <laughs> no, it's gone. You know, I have my two lights. They're all always ready, okay. always ready to go. <laughs> ready to go that one works on battery i make sure that the battery is already i have two two of them always charged yeah. ready yeah. to go yeah. ready to go to and point, I agree, yes and, and i agree with my female santé yeah mm -hmm. even the lady they have to make sure they have the wigs or whatever if they wear wigs wigs somewhere ready so like ready to jump and jump in front of the camera yes yes because that's uh, the world we're living in yes And the funny thing, we one of my business uh, business partners, he, he always has one jacket in his office. So if you call him Zoom, all he does is pick up the suit, the jacket, he put it on. He could be wearing shorts, but he always has a jacket. Even if he wear the same jacket, but at least he has the same jacket and he, he looks presentable. Yes, because whoever's talking to you today maybe may may have not talked to you yesterday, so they don't know how you you dressed yesterday. Yeah. So, and then plus. They will not really see that it's the same jacket. All they see is somebody who's ready, who's business-minded ready. Mm -hmm. So that's what matters. Mm -hmm. And just to, to, to end up this one, I didn't plan to stay that yes. long tonight. Yes, mm -hmm. And I realized that we already spent like 59 minutes. Ready or not, the digital world is here upon us with its requirements with its challenges but if you smart enough and you are open enough to learn how to use it for your good mm -hmm. for your benefit yes i can tell you one thing it will help you it will help you beyond what you can think you can imagine mm -hmm. okay. okay and then if you need training if you need to go uh to discuss even more on this topic or you like to talk please either call me or subscribe to the channel so that whenever we put a new tv a new show a new video or we a new live you can join and again don't be shy to jump in and be on camera this could be a uh, i mean the practice place a place for you to practice <laughs> Come, it's it's a safe environment. You can learn, and you can develop those skills that you need for the digital world. Absolutely. Okay. So we are here to help you grow uh, your digital abilities, mm -hmm. digital skills. Let us know. Reach out to us. Tell us what are your challenges, and we will probably draft a plan, a course plan, a training plan for you, or even a business strategy. If you want to use us as consultants, mm -hmm. yes, we can build, we, we can put together some proposals, some strategies for you to grow your, your presence, to make yourself more visible in this world that we're living. And I really want to thank you for watching. And for those of you who speak French, we'll be again here next Tuesday and where we'll do 
tutorial or talk discussion on those topic that interest that pertains to the digital world. Okay, and I really want to thank you for stopping by. My Jamie pleasure. And, call. and I hope to see you next time. I'm always ready anytime. All right. thank, thank you. you. That's good. Good for you. Thank you. All right. Okay. Dear friends, until next time, take care of yourself, stay safe, stay healthy, and get ready for the digital world. Thank you. Thank you. Qu'est-ce que le monde retiendra de votre marque dans les prochaines années, dépendant de ce que vous allez faire aujourd'hui Avec notre expérience ainsi que les apprentissages accumulés au, au fil des années, nous sommes prêts à vous fournir les, les habiletés pour pouvoir développer votre marque et l'établir dans le monde digital. Veuillez s'il vous plaît nous contacter dès aujourd'hui pour réserver un temps où nous allons pouvoir, avec des formations taillées sur mesure, vous donner le moyen, les habiletés pour pouvoir devenir le leader digital que le monde attend.